everyone, welcome back to Scrap in Scotland. Uh, you join me in the shed today, as usual, uh, for another teardown video. So, what I'm going to tear down? I am going to tear down this multi CD stacker system. Uh, it's a Sistor unit, and this is used for backing up files within uh, big business networks so multiple CDs you can run multiple backups at the same time stick all your stuff on disk and that's essentially what this is for never taken one of these apart before obviously the we know we're going to get a lot of disk drives we've got one two three four five six seven eight disk drives what I'm really interested in to see is if you know what else is inside it is there a couple of motherboards in there is there any processor chips uh, we will get fans I can see on the back there's multiple fans so yeah interested to, to see as I say if it's more like a computer setup inside in terms of the motherboard uh, and uh, the additions to that, the peripherals that are on it, any RAM sticks, any CPU, anything like that. So, nothing to it but to do it. We'll get it taken apart and we will see what it offers inside. So, there doesn't seem to be any screws on the side or on the front, everything seems to be on the back. So we just get these taken off and hopefully we can start getting inside the unit. But that bit is not going to fit. This one hopefully will. Easily slipped off. So, no motherboard for sure. We do have a live spider in it, which is interesting. He's now crawled up inside there a little bit. That's fine, we'll get him out once we get the rest of the stuff out as well. Tiny little board in here as well, as you can see just in here. And there is the main power pack unit. Apart from that, it is just discs. Alrighty, so a lot of screws to get them out. But we'll just go ahead and start removing them. One side released the screws, now to release discs on the second side. Screws are out the drive now, now I'm going to start removing the wires. Ok, 
Okay, one disk drive out. Two, three, four drives. There's the board, just a little board. There's our eight disk drives. There's all the wires. Clip them and clean them up later. Now we'll get the power unit out and the two fans. Okay, so a secondary little board. Couple of little jack connectors. The two cooling fans, both containing copper motors in the middle. Okay, the power unit, you can see that wire at the back here, actually goes, feeds all the way up through and then through to the front here where the power switch is. So, try and get this front panel off and then remove that piece so we can get the power switch out and the power cord. There's still other screws in here, so maybe we actually take all the screws out and create a, like a flat flat pack rather than the kind of bulky tower. We've got a nice 
flat unit now, we can actually just break it all down and store it flat. It takes up a lot less space. There's a the front panel, plastic piece now off. There we go, it's much easier storage than having that big tower. Okay, here's a power unit, pretty standard. Definitely some re copper recovery within that cord. And this in my box of power units to be processed later. And that's about it guys, so that's the Sistar Systems multi-disc. Uh, as I say, it's used for uh, backup information of business servers. Uh, and that has one just been torn apart so nice and quick it wasn't too long to take apart we've got eight disk drive out of it eight cd-roms uh, as you know if you scrap cd-roms there are nice little boards on them as well some gold pins uh, so definitely worth scrapping out uh, if i'd sold that unit if it was working if it was in good condition then you know it'd probably been worth selling it as is so that's it for this one guys thank you for tuning in scrapping scotland uh, we'll see you next time on Scrap in Scotland. Bye for now.